Live from the USA, helping you get paid every day. This is the boss of Bitcoin, the Cristo of crypto. It's your boy, BK. And if you don't like me, you must not like money. Today is August 13th. Bitcoin is looking pretty good. Um, teetering. Uh, above water. We're on a little bit of shaky ground, but you will see why in a minute. Um, that's what the point of this video is. You know, some people have been saying uh, that 3,000 was a pretty good foothold, but now we are in uncharted territory. So while it feels real good, you know, for the uh, foundation and the uh, underlying market, it really is not good to be this high this quick. What goes up must come down. And even then, when we're going up, we still need to come down to take a break just so we can keep going up, you know? And so that's what we'll be talking about a little bit on this video. I just wanted to, you know, give a, give you guys a few ideas on what can be happening in the market. I'm not saying we're going to crash. I'm not saying we're in a bubble. I'm saying, you know, given the different scenarios out there, it is a possibility. And that is the point of this video to uh, facilitate dialogue. So if you disagree, if you agree, please leave your comments uh, at the bottom of this video. I get on uh, every other day just to check the comments and to respond to people and to engage directly. So if you know, regardless of if you agree with me, if you disagree, leave your thoughts. Let's have a let's have an open dialogue. Uh, feel free to comment anytime on this channel. So uh, but you already know, you know, Every day the sun come up and I'm I'm fortunate enough to, to speak into this microphone is a day that somebody else is fortunate enough to get some cash in their pocket. Payable out in BTC compliments of me. So with that being said, you know what I'm saying? I tell y'all every day on my channel is Thanksgiving because every day we eat and every day we break bread together. So let me pull this up real quick. There we go. My bad. I got way too much garbage on my desktop right now. Let me get rid of some of this stuff. All right. Cool. All right. So the question of the day, the question of the day that we asked uh, our winner um, to pick is we are predicting the price of Bitcoin. So today, the price is right around $4,000. The question I asked you guys is how much will Bitcoin be? What will be the price of Bitcoin one month from today? So how much will Bitcoin be one month from right now? Let's pick our winner. If you're in the chat, keep going because you never know. You never know. I might scroll all the way down to the bottom and pick somebody. So let's see. I'm going to close my eyes and we're going to go with whoever is below my arrow when I stop. Ready, set, go. Bam. Cookie Berryman said $5,200. All right. So we got a lot of people think this thing is going to keep going to the moon, which it very well could. Again, I'm not saying it's in a bubble. I'm not saying it's going to crash. I'm just here to make you think just like my man on the other channel. So with that being said, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to throw your picture up in our Facebook group. This is our Facebook group. The doors are always open. One of the fastest growing digital communities uh, in the crypto verse, 7,000 50 members looking strong, looking strong. Uh, and I just posted a video link um, somewhere. 
We'll find it. There we go. So what I do, every video, whoever wins, uh, I will throw your picture up right there. And I will say Bitcoin winner of the day. And all you got to do is uh, jump on this page, comment on this thread, and then I'll hit you up directly and uh, get your wallet. I appreciate your support, Cookie. Thank you uh, for being one of our value community members. Big Joe, what's going on? Uh, you know, and we will keep it moving. It's just that easy to get paid. All you got to do is get here a little bit early. Uh, and again, six, seven days a week. Every day I go live on the air, I'm giving out uh, cash, a little bit of cash, a couple hundred dollars out my pocket every month, um, payable with MBTC just to get you guys uh, converted over from that fake fiat into some uh, digital wealth. So let's keep it moving. The Bitcoin bubble, 2017 version, question mark. Let's see the reasons why it could be a bubble. Reason number one, it's a natural cycle. Uh, for those of you psychology majors in here, you might recognize this emotional cycle chart. Uh, you have essentially two polar emotions that create the universe, love and fear. And then you have the effervescent hope that uh, tomorrow will be a better day. This is kind of the underlying sentiment of humans, why we go through life, just because you know we strive uh, to achieve a better tomorrow. We always have that hope. Uh, even when we're fearful, we hope for love. Um, and consequently, as a result of having too much love, we hope for fear to appreciate that love. So you can see, this is kind of a cycle. Let's see where we're at right now. Bitcoin, $4,000, Forbes.com, front page. That is a lot of love right there from uh, all them people with all that money. Uh, compliments of Forbes magazine. And uh, as you can see, we are on a huge swing in the love department, right? Uh, you only see this, this type of emotion uh, when, when, you know, people are very absent of the other. And if you look back in recent times for all the headlines associated with Bitcoin, it's either been one of two ways, very loving or very fearful, right? So that's indicative of a shift. Reason number two, Uncle Sam is broke. And this is where we start talking about the macro. Uncle Sam has not worked in probably three quarters of a century. And he needs, he needs a little bit of help. So what is he going to do? He's going to instill some legislation uh, to come after some, some crypto tax dollars to help offset the financial distress that he's been in as of late. Why would that cause a bubble? Well, the individual is self-interested. If you come for my money, I'm gonna take it away and I'm gonna protect it. And if you say this platform, you know, operated by the boys in blue, which is the biggest distribution outlet in the world for Bitcoin, this platform has some dedicated tax service and I'm, I don't want to pay taxes. Well, guess what? I'm no longer using that website. You've officially just compromised the largest distribution outlet in the world. So now we have a situation where self-interested individuals will be conserving, uh, maybe conserving their um, investment initiatives. Again, the individual is self-interested. And Uncle Sam is broke. Reason number three, East versus West. Uh, there is a line in the sand. I've been saying it for about two or three weeks now. And it's getting clearer and clearer every day. And so much now that your boy Neo, you know, has shown up close to the top of the hill you know, back where it used to just be a few names up there, he popped in having the time of his life right now. What do that look like on the charts? That looked like something like this. And what does that mean for the market? What does that mean for the stability of Bitcoin? 
of cryptoverse, right? What does that mean? All that profit from 15 to 60 in a matter of a few days. That means you got a lot of people coming in right now, a lot of people coming in right now with their hands itching, looking to make some scratch. And that's not good. We, we start with love, we go to fear. And greed is often a determinant, uh, an accelerant in shifting from one side to the other. When people see charts like this, they think they could just throw down 10, 20,000 and retire next year. And that is not a sustainable way of thought. If everybody was rich, then nobody would be rich. So if you think you coming into crypto and you looking for a thousand X in three months and you go retire and live on a beach for the rest of your days, you might just be in time to see the top. This was also China's response. And there can only be one for every day. BCH exists, BTC may be compromised. There is a lot of negative sentiment still with the mining community, with the quote, uh, insiders of, of crypto, you know, that aren't very happy with how this sun over here came to be. Well, like it or leave it, like it, love it or leave it, it's here to stay and it's not going anywhere. And again, it's in direct response for that East versus West. And all of these things are happening amidst a 100 year complete eclipse that crosses over the entire United States of America, financial superpower of the world, coast to coast within a few days from now, I think next week. That is no accident. This is a system of design. I'm just here to make you think. What else? Big bank. <clears throat> if you heard me on a few other show, few other shows, I said big bank take little bank seven days a week. What do this show right here? This shows the blockchain and all the transactions that happen. And as you can see, right around March is when we got our first little break. And I'm gonna show you a chart in a minute that that lines up right with that. But right here, June, July, May, June, July. This thing went through the roof. What was that? That was the institutions getting in on the blockchain. You see, people, people don't have Bitcoin the whole time. People don't ever send that much money through the blockchain. But corporations do. They outnumber people's money probably a thousand to one. And when they decide to get in, the market moves. And when they decide to leave, the market reacts. And that's what we have not felt yet is that huge cliff of, you know, missing volume, missing energy. We haven't felt that yet. We have that has not hit the market yet. Right. That hit the market. The increase hit the market. But we're much, much more elevated than we were in April. I think this is like reason number six. Ripple. I've told you guys, Ripple may be the new king. And again, the institutions control the market. Back here in April, 530% inside a few days. That is amazing for any business, for any institution to make that kind of profit. You know what happened after that? Let the market sleep for a few weeks, forget about it almost a month, and then boom! Hit it again for about a thousand percent. Do humans have that money? Was that a whale? Some of you guys are always talking about whales. I know a lot of people with a lot of money and, and they can't pull off nothing like this. Not on no orchestrated level. That is a institution. And plus, a lot of people with a lot of money are pretty stupid, I've come to realize. They just smart enough to keep their money. They ain't smart enough to grow it from scratch again. So you have to realize there are many, many, many factors at play. And if Ripple, when Ripple breaks below 15 cents, oh, the floodgates are opening. And we're going back down to 20, uh, 20 to 40, about 40 to 60 billion dollars. Let's see. The next one is uh, 
this chart right here. And this is Google Trends for the search Bitcoin. As you can see, we've peaked out in the past right there and right there. And today we are higher than that level was previously. In fact, this almost looks like a double top. Uh, very, very eerie to how the market is looking uh, from a market cap wise. If you go to coinmarketcap.com and just type in uh, all the alts excluding Bitcoin, you can see we peaked out at about 62 billion, I believe. And we're forming a double top up there as well. This is like reason number nine, the media. This guy, CNBC, they had they had your boy featured on CNBC a few days ago. You know, they must have saw one of my old videos, but uh, <laughs> they must have saw one of my old videos. But the times then change now. We we just might be at a at a tipping point. You know, if that bank if that bank money don't come back, if those if those transactions don't come back, if these alts don't pick up, you know, 20, 30 percent of the Bitcoin value they don't lost. This market is shriveling up from the inside out and uh, all signs are starting to point a different way. This is another thing. This is called sentiment analysis. When you do marketing, uh, one of the things Google and Twitter are experts at, they're experts at understanding sentiment. You know, one of the things when you when you control an entity, uh, a database such as Google, such as America Online, such as AOL Time Warner, you can uh, dictate the sentiment associated with a certain word. So when the regular Joe looks up crypto, this is one of the things that pop up very, very close to the list. That is by design. Uh, May 18th, 2017, when Bitcoin was just, you know, taking off, just starting to take off. They don't want the masses to adopt. So, you know, uh, fear, again, fear is often instilled through confusion and disarray. Last thing, there is a plan in place. This is the cover of a magazine, famous magazine from 1988. And this is the updated version in 2015. Uh, there is a system at play. The petrodollar uh, just more or less is out of business. And this new money, as they predicted 20 years ago, this new money over here is going to burn down the dollar, which looks like it was lit on fire with kerosene, probably from the oil, right? It's going to burn down that dollar. It's going to rise from the ashes and it's all based on naught, which is based basically zero because Bitcoin has no intrinsic value outside the value that the people give it. But please believe there are other people with a lot more affluence and a lot more influence, just as we saw in those uh, blockchain transactions that dictate the volume and the direction a lot more than individuals ever would. Last thing, as a result, you know, us common folk, you know, we get way too excited, too quick. We, we switch from love to greed to hope back to love. So if your Uber driver is, is, is you know, giving you investing advice on Ethereum, you probably know you're close to the edge of a cliff, right? Uh, innovation adoption happens in waves, right? You have the essential few, you have the early adopters, you have, uh, you know, the laggards, the late laggards, and then the trivial many. Uh, this is Roger's five factors of uh, adoption, uh, MBA stuff, you know. Um, but essentially, it happens in waves. So once this guy, who's like a laggard adopter, probably like a responder, you know, he saw CNBC. Uh, retweet you know bloomberg which which has tagged bitcoin you know and everybody is just following each other trying to pump right that's because those institutions that stopped their transactions two months ago are selling to the new people buying in at the top that's how a bubble works you still need buyers to cash out the old sellers but the volume has stopped and and that's the biggest key the biggest indicator so again here we go full circle you know we go from uh, all time highs at a market to a greed and fearful uh, intent on, uh, uh, on uh, mitigating accessibility through uh, unlawful uh, aid and abatement 
uh, taxation policies um, to an East First Fest standoff to, uh, you know, CNBC throwing up a, a two week old video and, and claiming your boy BK. That's a joke, by the way. That was that was like my man, Joe. He photoshopped that. But I'm going to act like it's real because it will be one day, you know, all the way back to your boy Uber driver trying to get you to buy some chain bang coin, you know, uh, at the top of the peak. So this thing moves in cycles. Understand that. Understand that we are at either the top or the end of a cycle. Uh, the lunar eclipse should tell you that in itself. Something that happened once in a hundred years, it, that should tell you that like some systemic uh, change is happening that we are witnessing, and all these other events uh, from 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 uh, neo eighty percent from from Bitcoin Cash coming out coming out of nowhere. From you know uh, the fork would essentially meant like thirty to forty percent inflation on the market. All of these different events are not by accident. Everything is intrinsically related uh, and interconnected with one another. One chart is not going to change that. One fork is not going to change that. One segwit or one you know, sell off or one whale is never going to change the charts. The charts are set. We merely view it from our perspective on a day to day basis. So, again, that's my rationality on uh, as to why we may indeed be nearing uh, the top of a bubble. Could we go up to 5,000? Absolutely. Will we stay above 5,000? Absolutely not. We don't have the fundamentals right now. You know, a house is built brick by brick, but before they lay the first brick down, they got to dig out the basement and they got to lay some concrete down. And right now here at 4,000, we have not done either one. We did it at 2,000, you know, and at 1,800 for a while, and at 1,400 below that, before that, you know, and at 800, 700 before that. But we haven't done it here at 4,000. So those are my thoughts. If you agree, disagree, you know, that's why the comment section is there. I would love to hear from you. Um, that being said, we do have, again, a global community. I want to uh, pull up our uh, Facebook group real quick. I know this is getting a little long. I apologize about that. But I think it's some uh, good information. And that's why I wanted to take my time and, and going through it. So hopefully you appreciate it. So uh, this is our Facebook group. Again, 7,000 people. Uh, we get on these charts 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Uh, if you wanted to support the community, we do have a way to do that as well. Boxbitcoin.com. You go over there and click on the left-hand side. You will see a button that says shop. Once you click on that, we have two products uh, you could purchase. One is called the Profit Package. Uh, this thing... I'm gonna let this load up real quick. I think I got too much stuff going on. My computer mad at me. Close out of these. There we go. All right, cool. So here we go, bossofbitcoin.com. If you want to support the community, it's two ways you can do that. You click on that little button right there uh, called shop. You will see the profit package. Uh, this is a, a hand-selected list. Um, you could see when I think about the market, I try to consider every 
possible um, factor, all the different variables that come into place. And uh, I have a pretty solid selection uh, on this list in so much it's up probably 80, uh, 70, 80 percent inside of two weeks. Uh, again, it's twenty five dollars. I try to make it cheap enough for anybody to get it. If you want to be profitable, this will definitely uh, jumpstart that process for you. Uh, everybody asks me, is it still relevant? Is it still up to date? The answer is yes. Uh, the coins I pick are not, you know, one day, two day picks. When I do my videos, often I make trades every day just to show you guys, you know, some of the momentum and shifts in the market. But these are long term picks uh, that will and have outperformed the market. It won't stop anytime soon. It's, it's essentially the cream of the crop. Uh, on that list. Uh, the other thing you can do if you if you get new to this game and or you or you get more seasoned, more advanced, want want some uh, one on one time, we could definitely set that up as well. Uh, this thing is ten dollars uh, for a deposit. That just basically opens my uh, calendar up to you. The total cost uh, is seventy five dollars on top of that, and you pay that after you're done. Uh, once you click that link, it will take you uh, to a website that looks something like this. Say you wanted to get together, you know, Monday morning after the kids went to school, Monday at 8.30 a.m., bam, you do that, you know, and you we go on for a one-on-one, uh, walk through some charts, walk through some trades, you know, and actually take it to the next level of uh, what it takes to be successful inside this crypto game. You know, I've, I've been doing this for the better part of two decades now. I'm 32 years old. I bought my first stocks when I was at 15 and a half. You know, Disney, I bought Disney for $28 when I was 16 years old. Um, so I know I, I know a thing or two. I've traded options. I've, I've done Forex. I've done, you know, uh, swing trades. You know, I've done futures. Uh, and now I'm doing crypto and I've developed a patented method that outperforms the market probably 100 to 1. Uh, so, again, I give this to you for free. If you are a profit seeking entity, you do not have my authorized consent to reproduce it. So please don't. Uh, I prefer to be a nice person and, and keep it copacetical. Uh, so I was just throwing that out there for anybody who think they could put a bow on top of my on top of my uh, patented process. Uh, you can't. Um, but if you are a person, if you are a mother and you want to send your kid to school, you know, by all means, please use my method. Be profitable, be prosperous uh, and pay it forward when you have that chance. That's all I got for you. Uh, I need to shout out my people. So if you in the chat, uh, do me a favor right now. Shout your country out. I'm going to come back to you um, right now. Uh, so shout your country out. Let's see who we got on the line rocking with the boy BK. Here we go, here we go. We checking in right now, live on the chat. Let's see. We got USA, Connecticut, Montreal is big. I talked to another guy. What's up, Big Brian over there, over there in Canada? I think you in Montreal too, right? Um, let's see, let's see. USA looking strong. Florida, down south looking strong. Texas, you know what I'm saying? The dirty south is in the building. Colorado, Australia, California, West Coast stand up. What's up, Danielle in Brazil? I'm gonna come hit you up. You know what I'm saying? We gonna go drink some wine on the beach. You know, I'm, 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 I need to go to Brazil. I love Brazil. Good coffee too. Um, Greece, New Haven, Cali, Texas, Missouri, Australia, Canada, Netherlands, Quebec, Czech Republic, Ghana. What's up in Africa? What's going on out there? Southern Cali is big. Rally Durham. What's going on? Texas, Tampa, Belgium. You know what I'm saying? This is how it goes down. Ireland, Mile High City, salute. Scotland, Uruguay. Minnesota, I love this man. Y'all, y'all get me so excited. Whenever I see a kaleidoscope of countries, I just, I just actually reconnect to the crypto verse. This is why we did this to empower each other to rise above, you know, the entities that were placed before us before we even got cognizant of our reality on this earth. There were, there were processes and procedures put in place to make sure we could make it. But guess what? You know, that day is past and tomorrow is yet to come. So that's why I do these videos. If you appreciate that, if you appreciate my content, my energy, my passion, my vision, by all means, come join us. The doors are always open. Uh, it will be 8,000 people in that Facebook group. And three months from now, it will be another 8,000. Uh, my name is BK. They call me a crypto trader. And as you can see, I am the boss of these charts. 
uh, the profit package is there, $25, uh, it will help you. I have not had one complaint from anybody to look at that list uh, since the time I put it out. By all means, uh, if you um, enjoy this content, you know, I appreciate your time. So just hit that thumbs up button. If you appreciate my copy and paste the URL, uh, text it to a, somebody you care about and let them know. Uh, that we can begin this pro process of self-empowerment. With that being said, it's that, it's that time of the day. Uh, this is your boy BK, no matter where you stay, from Brazil to the Bay in California, uh, all the way out to Germany. Good night, good morning, and good day until we meet again. Um, stay cryptic, y'all. Catch y'all on the flip side. Peace.